Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about the basic rules in tennis. Uh, enough to get started. And there are some interesting rules that some people might think is quite intuitive, but I'll, have, I'll phrase it properly for you so that you can see what it actually means. Okay? So this, uh, this lesson is broken down into three different parts. The court movement and boundaries, things to know during play, and a special set of uh, rules or rather know-how during the serve. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so on the screen now, you see a tennis court with two stick men. Okay, we're going to talk about the singles field of play first. The blue rectangle highlighted, that's where your, the ball is uh, legal. Okay, so when you play, the ball has to land between inside this rectangle here. Singles one versus one. Okay, one thing to know that in tennis, the lines are in. So if it hits the line, any part of the blue line, it is still in. Okay, so those two people on court, we play a wider court. Same thing, if you hit it out of the blue line, the field of play, you lose the point. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, do note that every point starts behind the baseline. See, my stick men are all behind the baseline. A lot of people tell me, hey, this is the right side, this is the left side, this is the forehand side, stand at the back hand side. No. There's an actual term for it. If you are facing the net from the baseline, the right side is called the deuce side, and the left is called the advantage side. It's called advantage is because when you're playing on that side, either player will have an advantage in terms of the score. Okay, so after every point, so if you alternate until the game is over, switch server and repeat. Okay, something to note is that after every odd game, so basically after game one, game three, and game five, we will switch swap sides or switch ends. Okay, because let's say one player is serving with the sun in his face, he can't really, because we can't always have tournament quality playing fields, right? So, so both sides will have played under the same conditions. They will play on both either side of the court. Your opponent's court. There's no. I mean, this might. This next one might sound like, hey, yeah, what are you talking about? It's the. It hits your opponent. It hits the ball. The ball fell back into the court. He thought he won the point, but no, it's not a legal shot. But hey, it's very entertaining. But yeah, okay. The point ends. You're supposed. You can only hit the ball with your racket, and it must be held. Okay, next, you cannot touch the net during play. This is, uh, a lot of people don't know this one. You, if you're running straight to the net, you hit the ball, and you can't stop yourself, you grab onto the net, you lose the point. Unless, of course, after you hit the ball, it bounces twice, points over, you touch the net, that's fine. But any point in time, you cannot touch it with your body, nor your racket. You will immediately lose the point. Okay, oh, bonus one. So, talking about net, you cannot hit the ball before the ball comes over the net into your court. Meaning, if you ride the net, the ball is super slow, you reach over and you tap it, you lose the point. You cannot swing across the net to play the ball. It has to come over first. Okay. Okay, things to know when you serve. Okay, let's say you're this man up here. Okay, you cannot cross the baseline. Now rather, this is where the quarter point starts. And it always starts on the deal side. Okay, every game, the starting point, you will start serving from the deal side. Likewise, if your opponent is serving, he has to serve from his deal side. So remember, the deal side is when you're facing the net, everything on the right. See, this is the center marker. This splits the court in half. So it starts on this side. That's one. Okay, when you serve the ball, boom, in the court, and your opponent can't touch the ball, that's called an ace, okay? Or likewise, you boop, it bounces twice on court and he's not ready for it. If you win the point and it's an untouchable shot, it's called an ace. So the first thing you learn when you do your serve, uh, rather in this slide, it's called ace, okay? Next, double fault, fault and double fault. So you're serving, each time when you serve, you get two chances, okay? So we call this the first serve and the second serve. Okay, so how does this go? You serve, boom, hits the net, doesn't cross over, fault. 
you get a second chance. It's called a second serve. Then you hit it, and then you hit it again. Boom. Let's say you miss the service box. This lands outside this area. It's out. And that's your second serve. And once you miss two serves in a row, that's called a double fault. And you lose the point. You play the next point. So basically, the player moves down and starts playing on the advantage court. Okay, let me say that again. You get two chances to serve. First serve, if you hit it in, the point starts. If you don't hit it in, you get a second serve to a second chance to serve, start the point. Okay, so your second serve is extremely important. Okay, what if, what if, if you hit the ball, it clips the net and it falls in on a serve? Okay, this is, we call this a let, L E T, let. So basically, it's a redo. So you do that particular serve again. So what do I mean? If you hit your first serve, it hits the net, goes in, you redo your first serve. If it's your second serve, so as in the first serve you missed, now it's your second serve, you hit the net, it goes in, you redo your second serve, not the first serve, the second serve. You redo that serve. Understand? Okay, uh, another bonus one. See this line this is a pro tip. Generally in club level, we don't really say this one. Okay, so you have to start behind the baseline. So when you serve, before you hit the ball, your racket hits the ball, you cannot touch any part of the line or go into the court. Let me repeat that. When you, before you make contact with your serve, with the ball, you cannot enter the court. This is called a foot fault. And immediately, if that's your first serve, it's, it's considered a fault you have to serve your second serve. If it's your second serve, you touch the line or step in before you contact the ball, foot fault is considered a double fault. Okay? But there's a caveat to this. If you are in the air, so you see the pros, they jump, they serve. Basically, remember I said you cannot step in or basically on the line, but you can be in the court, in the air. You cannot touch the ground before you contact the ball. That, that you didn't know that one. Okay, let's go. Recap. Three main things we spoke about. Court movement, basic rules, and service know-how. Okay, court movement, we talk about the singles and doubles field of play. Uh, that the lines are in. If you hit the line, it is still considered in. The deuce court and add court. Remember, if you're facing the net, everything on the right side of the center marker is the deuce court. Anything on the left is the uh, add court, advantage court. And you have to swap ends during a set after the first game, third game, and fifth game. Okay, or rather any odd number of game. Okay, basic rules during playing. If the ball hits the net, you lose the point unless it hits the net and goes over. Okay, so it hits the net, lands on your court, you lose the point. But if it hits the net, goes over, point is still live. You can volley it before the ball lands. And uh, you have only one bounce, maximum one bounce. Yeah, you can only touch the ball with the racket. You can and anywhere on your body, you can't touch it. You can't kick the ball, anything like that. You cannot throw your racket to hit the ball. And you cannot touch the net during play. Okay, service know-how. If you hit the ball into the correct service box, and the opponent doesn't even touch the ball, it's called an ace. You win the point immediately. It's like, oof. That's why that serve is so, so important. It gives you very uh, cheap, easy points if you get it really well. Okay, and a fault and double fault. That's why the second serve is super important. You do not want to double fault. You immediately gift the point away. Okay, so you mean you get two serves on your on your serve each point. If you miss both, you lose the point. Double fault. Okay, let when you are serving, it hits the net and it bounces into the court into the service box. It's a redo. So just redo that serve. And the bonus will be foot fault. It, you cannot touch the court. You cannot step into the court before you make contact with your serve before you make an answer. So if you're in the air, you hit the ball and then you land, you're fine. Okay. I hope uh, you like this style. I'm sharing it much more freely now. And um, if you have any questions, do, do contact us at our Facebook page, our YouTube channel. And you're one step closer being a full-fledged tennis player. I'll see you in the next one.